How we doing, everybody? This is that our nerd coming at you with a little scatter plot tutorial thing here. So let's jump right in. This top code here uh, it shows you all the data sets that come with R when you download R. These are all free data sets, and so you can follow along with this if you want. The data set we're going to be looking at is MT Cars, and what this has is uh, the car miles per gallon, cylinder. Disperse, dispersal, I don't know, horsepower, some drat, some weight, and all types of other stuff, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plot on our x-axis, horsepower, and on our y-axis, miles per gallon. And we're gonna see is there any correlation between horsepower and miles per gallon. All right, so this one's really easy. You just do plot, and then it's uh, x and it's y, right? So for our x, we'll do our MT cars dollar horsepower, right? So that's our X variable. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at horsepower. And then we put our Y variable. So on the Y axis, we're going to want to plot miles per gallon. And with those two simple things, we get at least something here to start with, right? Um, a scatter plot showing horsepower and miles per gallon. And it appears that there's a negative trend, right? With more horsepower comes fewer miles per gallon. <clears throat> we can add some titles to this. So if we do main, this is gonna be our title of the, of the graph. And since I'm gonna put a regression line on this here in a second, we'll call this regression for horsepower on miles per gallon. Right, so hopefully I spelt that horsepower right and don't look like a complete noob here. Uh, but for our X label, we're gonna put horsepower, and for our Y label, we're gonna put miles per gallon. Ooh, that's that's just brutal when it goes on to the next part there. Maybe I'll put that down to the next line. Okay, so let's plot that. <clears throat> okay, regression for horsepower on miles per gallon. We have miles per gallon, and we have horsepower. To add our, our regression line on here, you can do AB line, and then what we'll end up doing here is we'll just do a linear model Right, a linear regression for how miles per gallon depends on horsepower. Right, so that's what this is saying here: how miles per gallon depends on horsepower. And our data is going to be MT cars. And then you can do whatever color you want, whatever line width or whatever that you want. We'll just make this a red line through there. And just like that, we have a regression line plotted on our on our scatter plot. One other thing that's really cool. Um, this is in the car package, and I don't remember if this automatically comes with R if you have to, to download it, <clears throat> but they have something that's really cool, and it's the scatterplot function. And what you can do with this is, you say miles per gallon, how it depends on horsepower, right? And then this is going to be a third variable, so you do this vertical pipe here, and then a third variable. And so for that, we'll do our cylinders. <clears throat> you specify what your data is or your data R, MT cars, right? That's our data. And then we're going to want uh, to label some of these things. So for our X label, we'll put horsepower. For our Y label, we will put uh, miles per gallon. And then for our main, we'll say, this is an enhanced scatter plot. Okay, and that's it, away we go, simple as that. And so what this does is now we're looking at a third variable, right, we're looking at cylinder. So it's still horsepower and miles per gallon, but then our cylinders are breaked up, or broke, broke, broken up, and uh, we have four cylinder here, we have a regression line for just four cylinders with a smooth regression line there. Um, and then we have six cylinder and we have eight cylinder as well. So this is just, uh, a way to get more information on on third variables in your scatter plot as well. Okay, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it so other people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more incredible R tutorials on beautiful graphs and things of, of other R, R natures. <laughs> and, uh, and have a great day. I'm going to do the same video, but in ggplot, which is a state-of-the-art type of... Uh, visualization package. So make sure to click that link if you want to see how to do this in ggplot.